This is the meat inside. Hi guys, it's been a while, right? You haven't seen me in the kitchen in a while. But yeah, today is Saturday, so I'm not gonna be cooking though. But um, earlier today, we know, we went to eat lunch at uh, Courtyard Cuisine, you know. If you haven't checked out that video yet, be sure to do so, the link is right here. We went back and had the picking duck and then had the uh, fire squid again. Still good, it wasn't a fluke. But anyway, so after we done having lunch, um, you know, we went to just go just to do, pick up some few items. And of course, you know, I went straight to the seafood department and I was just browsing through there and guess what I saw? Mantis shrimp. So I was like, what? They're not available here in Houston. A few years ago, I saw a frozen package, you know, of mantis shrimp at a 99 cent ranch and I bought it and then, you know, I tried it and it wasn't good at all. But today, it clearly say fresh mantis shrimp. So I'm like, you know what? I was like, sir, sir, can I please get one pound? So, you know, I whooped out my camera and, you know, I was just uh, recording the, you know, the shrimp. But I guess he think I was recording him, so, you know, he was, he was hooking me up. He was picking some good, good shrimp for me. They look dead though, but, you know, it's a fresh, so, you know, give it a try. So after he, um, he got me one pound, and then I noticed, I was like, I look up, and right behind him was the live mantis shrimp. So I was like, oh, man. But you know what, all right, Tom, you know, give me one pound bread, so I'm gonna try it. So the difference is like $24, so we're gonna try them today, and then, uh, yeah, we come back and get the live one, if this one's not good. And after I got the shrimps, I look right next to it, and guess what? Live lobster for only $7.99. So I was like, you know what? Just to be on the safe side, let me grab two lobsters. And on the way home, I was telling my wife, since I'm grilling anyways, uh, I might as well stop by the uh, Mitchell Okana and pick up some fajita. So guess what? We pick up three pounds of fajita. So just in case if the shrimp fell and the lobster fell, we still got some fajita. So anyways, if you guys are ready for some grilled mantis shrimp, let's go. AKA Vamanos. <laughs> Only the best taco ever. I don't know how many videos I saw on YouTube of these mantis shrimps. Look at that. And yeah, these are much bigger than the, uh, the frozen one that I bought. Oh yeah, the homie hooked it up. Ooh. Spiky. I'm no shrimp expert, but you know, if you fill them right, if it's firm, then it's good, right? But if it's soft, then it's not good. But you know, look at these, look at these. Yeah, the one on YouTube that I've been watching, man, they're huge, they're like this big. But you know what, I'll settle for these. Oh, tiny little one, but you know what? I think it's gonna be good. It's my first time eating them, so you know, I'm excited. Look at that. Look, we still got the lobsters. They're dead now. They've been out of the water for like an hour. So we're gonna grill this lobster up as well. $7.99, pretty good deal. All right, so while we wait for the uh, grill, I'm gonna cut up the meat. So it'll be easier to grill later on. I don't know about you guys, but I love me some fajitas. Woo! The best. Got three pounds and usually lasts us for a whole entire week. You know, before I thought, you know, it was like each um, Mitchell Okana has their own different marinade, but they all taste the same. They're all good. In case if the mantis shrimp fell, we got the lobster. In case that fell, fajitas. So I can use this to clean the grill with. All right, we're gonna clean the grill with the onion. Woo. 
All right, first thing first we're gonna do is we're gonna throw in the lobster. Then we're gonna throw in all this mantis shrimp. I don't know about you guys, but man, it's been a while since I had one of this uh, grilled lobster like this. I mean, if it's good, then we say 12, we sell it $24. But if it's not good, we'll just lose $15. See, every time when I cook food like this, I feel like I'm on Survivor, you know? Just fire, the sea, and the seafood. Except we don't have no sea around here. Just seafood. All right, these look more than done. They look burnt now. Look at this. All right, now we're gonna do the fajitas. Fajitas marinated with uh, lots of juice. <laughs> Ooh, you guys see that? Ah, wish you guys could smell this. It smells so good. I don't know about you guys, but every time when I eat seafood, I need my Vietnamese coriander or rau rau. And the basic sauce is just salt and pepper. See some lime. And then we're gonna cut a few chili pepper on there. And then we're gonna mix it up. Voila, done with the sauce. And this is the final product. All right. I love grilling, but man, it is so hot in Houston. All right, let's try one of this real quick. First time having mantis shrimp. I don't know what to do. So I guess you cut this on the side or something. Look, this is the meat inside. Not much at all, let me see. A little bit sweet. The texture is similar to a lobster. And there's no meat. It's not eating a fish. A lot of work and no meat. Okay, let's try maybe this one. Maybe it'll be different. I'm just treating this like a lobster, so that's how I'm eating it. So, if I'm doing it wrong, let me know, guys. This is it. This is all the meat. I mean, it's kind of chewy like a lobster. But you don't get that satisfaction, you know? Like, all right, let me try it one more. See, here, look at that. <laughs> it looks just like a fish. This is the biggest piece I got so far. Like I say, it tastes similar to like a lobster, but the meat, it's not as chewy. It's like a cross between a lobster and a fish. Maybe it's just these. Maybe I got the wrong one. Maybe I have to try the live one and see. I don't know, because these are just fresh. They're not live. But it does taste better than the one I bought frozen from before though. You know what? Let's go for this. <sighs> when you grill lobster, it tastes way different than when you steam them. Some people don't like it, but I like it because I like that char taste. Mm. See, when I do this, look, it comes right off. Oh, look at that. See, I knew that was gonna be a fail. This is not, oh. <laughs> so good. The 
just imagine you strand it on an island and all you had was just fire. Hmm. That's how you cook the food, you know? So good. And the fajita, you know, I did it so many times already, but you know. I review it one more time for you guys. Piece of fajita, dipped in sriracha. Hmm. So good. Yep, just dip it all in there. The lobster was really good, but you know, I have my doubt about these uh, mantis shrimp, so I don't think the lock one could be much of a different. I think the meat would just be a little bit chewy, but probably tastes the same. So I'm probably not gonna get it again. It's a good thing that I got to try them, but I don't know. That's a no for me. So I'll wait until I have a chance to visit in Vietnam and eat the big one. Oh yeah. Mm. So anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for staying to the end. Be sure to hit the subscribe button on your way out and I'll see you soon.